It's good, right? Dude. Shit's good. Yeah. All right, should we get this thing started, dude? I do. We're recording. No oh, intro. Yeah. No intro. Come on. Start it over. Let's go. We're recording. I can hit intro right now. Hit it. Bada bing, bada boom. What's up? You're rolling with another episode of Jits and Tits. Damn! The Jits and Tits podcast is brought to you by Remy Fit, the premier online training outlet for combat sports athletes. And after you get done training with Brandon Remy and your body's all banged up and need to heal, we're also brought to you by Alan Kava, Long Island's first and only Kava bar, serving exotic teas and relaxing elixirs that will help you recover after an intense training session. We're also brought to you by Rapid Restore, Long Island's leading restoration company, specializing in water damage, fire damage, and mold remediation. And the handsome man that will come up to clean up your mess, Ronnie Longlegs of Rapid Restore. Happy fucking Sunday. The boys are back. The boys are back in town. Oh, yeah. What's oh. up, virgins? Quick question. <laughs> I know I was running a, a tad late today. Was All this right, like, quick, quick answer. Was this like punishment? Give give me a little short mic so I got to hold it the Dude, whole time? Dude, you love them short boys, kid. Dude, I, D-Rock prefers it, but this is like the first time I ever had this. You yeah. want the stand? <laughs> I'm about to go grab a stand out of the fucking... All right, all right. This guy Terry G this? looking like Weekend at Bernie's right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I've been wearing the sun that I... I I <laughs> would never wear sunglasses inside, but since I smashed my head with the wrench, I'm, like, trying to cover that shit up. Yeah, Yo, you know what was, I noticed? This guy insane. yesterday in his truck has, like, fucking five hats in his center console. Like, Yeah, yeah I, have every, just, I have so many hats. Yeah, he has five hats. He has a flannel in the back. He has four pairs of Crocs back there. Yeah. He has slides and a uh, no, part- have, partridge in a pear tree. I seriously have, like, a flannel. I have a pair of jorts. I have a pair of Crocs, a pair of slides. You have your gi belt in your driver door. I think that's a partridge in a pear tree on his Yeah, hat, I do have a, And then I have, yeah. I have no joke, like probably like five hats. This guy's still wearing the coach uh, wristband, too. Yeah. yeah. Yo, you took Dude, yours he's off? He's never going to yeah. take it off. No, I, had, I, had the, for life. I had the shower yesterday, so I took it off. Dude, Remy changed me like in his phone to Coach Terrence. Yeah, <laughs> baby. Coach Terry G. Terry G. I'm actually going to do be. that. What? Coach Ch- Terry G. Him. Lombardi. Yeah, so we went to uh, Tap Out Cancer yesterday. Yep. Nice charitable tournament, non non profitable. We hope. Did anybody beat cancer yesterday? I think they did. All right. They had better. they had a scoreboard up on the the wall of the tournament. Tournament one, cancer zero. That's what. That's yeah. the shit I like to hear. Yeah. Death, death is undefeated though, unfortunately. So. Yeah. Well, not if you ask a lot of Christians. <laughs> <laughs> this guy Jesus got the one up apparently. Yeah, supposedly. <laughs> yeah, it was a good tournament though. Hot as hell. Oh, my God. And then these fucking idiots, at the end of the day, open up the big, like, garage doors and cool it all off. I'm like, why wouldn't you just do that from the fucking beginning? Because these are not smart people that do this stuff. A- absolutely. <laughs> Yo, it was so fucking hot in there, dude. Like, I was wearing shorts, and my shins and calves were dripping sweat. Yeah. Dude, I didn't even, like, get up to warm up. I laid down, and I was sweating. Yeah. You didn't have to move. No. You were good. Yeah, and, by, like... I w- in between matches, I was taking my yee top off, like trying to fucking cool down. Yep, it was. It was good though, man. It was a big turnout. A lot yeah. of people there. It was a big tournament. Yeah, taking the gee top off is a bad move, though, dude. When you're sweaty and you got to put that gross fucking gee top oh, back it's, on, it's like a it's like a mission, dude. Yeah, dude. You know, like at the end of training, you, once you take that gee off, like it's not going back on. So if you take the gee off, it sounds like you want to train. It's like, nah, dude, the gee's off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it going back yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When that thing's soaking wet, it's like trying to come get out of a fucking straight jacket. Yeah. But I had Coach Nick fucking uh, flagging me down. Trying Give fan, trying fan down a little bit. Trying to cool me off. Working that corner. Boy, yeah. was, boy was hot, kid. Yeah. Dude, it you was know. so hot. Yeah, but it was cool, though. I never uh, never been to that tournament before. Neither have I. It was a good one. It's a lot of people? A lot of people. A lot of people. All the merch like, went to yeah, the that proceedings. One, that one uh, shirt was fucking sick. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for bringing me back some merch. That was cool. I got, I got one for you. Yeah? Yeah, you fuck. Damn, yeah, dude. Yeah, Remy making me an asshole. I right know, now. dude. Good looks. Appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> I just forgot. It's at my house. How long are you going to forget for? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it's going to be Christmas. No, I really did. It's, uh, Speaking of forget, no, I got Sam an Origin Gi. I was going to say an Origin And gi. Rash Guard for his birthday back in, like, March. This motherfucker still has not come to get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you guys, you guys showed him the receipt for his yeah. birthday. Well, because it, it w- they hand make it, so it wasn't delivered. It got delivered to 
two months ago. This guy still has not come to get it. Dude, what are you doing? Relax. This guy's a fucking animal. Fucking weekend at Terry's. Still have, I still have a little bit left in that shaker too, boy. Now it's on the floor. Yeah, now it's all in my leg. But uh, yeah, tournament was good. Um, yeah, I thought we were gonna see a couple more people from Long Island there. Yeah, um, we didn't. We saw a couple dudes. Well, we actually saw one guy from Freedom. Yeah, I saw uh, Greg I th- Greg Melita from Hampton Jiu Jitsu. Is he competing? No, I think he just had his boys there. Yeah. Remy saw this dude that just knows him from training online on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, some kid came up to me. He was like, "Yo, are, are you uh, B Remy?" I'm like, "Yeah, what's up, man?" And then he's like, "Oh, he's like, I follow you on Instagram." Yeah, he was like from Connecticut. Oh. Yeah. Isn't that weird when that happens? Yeah. They're sitting there bro, talking forever. I, I said that famous. to Remy the first time I ever spoke to Remy. I said that to him because we were supposed to ride bikes. And so Andre from Toast made a group and Remy was in it and some other dudes. So I, I started following him because we were all supposed to go like for a ride together. And uh, Remy was in here, I think by himself, just talking to Jonathan. And it was at the end of the night. And it was just Taylor and I when we first started coming here. I'm like, oh, this is fucking weird. Like, I follow this kid on Instagram. Like, he's going to know who I am. Like, I should, <laughs> like, I I should no say, I sh- we were, yeah, we were the only three people in here. So, so you had to go up to him. So I was like, oh, I'm like, Taylor, should I go? So I was just like, whatever, whatever. I go up to him. I'm like, hey, man, like, uh, we're supposed to ride bikes together. I, f- I follow you on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're supposed he, to ride bikes together. Yeah. <laughs> like, fifth graders. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he's like, all right. <laughs> no, I <didn't. laughs> like clearly had no idea what the fuck I was I talking had no about. No idea. Who and I, here I am thinking for like hours that like, all right, this kid probably thinks I'm an asshole because I didn't say hello. Like I don't want to be a yeah. Dick. And it probably didn't help that Remy was probably baked. I was just gonna hour. say that. Yeah. I was yeah. just gonna say he I was, was high shit. Yeah. So fucking baked. He was so baked. He's like, all oh, right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you guys go riding, do you wear like those skin tight outfits with the fucking? Dude, I got a pair. Do you? Yeah. Why can't you just wear regular shorts? No, honestly, I Chafing. have. Yeah. Is that really what it is? Yeah, yeah. you want to chafe up. Uh, it's also a weight issue. Like, that everyone on their bike's like, oh, I don't want to no. have this. I don't want to have a water bottle holder. I don't want to have this. I don't want to that. Because, no, like, the weight of the Honestly, weight. why Not I you, wear them but. is, well, number one, because chafing. Like, I mean, you could just wear, like, uh, compression shorts underneath. Yeah. But uh, I have, like, the fucking butt pad butt in them. Pad. Oh, that like thing's crucial if you're going for a long ride. Yeah. yeah. Like, me and Dre went on, we went last year on, like, a 28-mile ride. Dude, my ass was so fucking sore. It hurts even with the pad. Yeah. It fucking hurts. Yeah. That's insane. Do you ever get used to it? I'm sure over time you if do. You're, if you if do you're riding enough. all summer, yeah, but yeah. like if you go in between summers, like your ass is going to get sore like that first long ride. Right. It's like you got to like build up that fucking Like that when you first push. started jits, when you had bruises all over your thighs yeah. and the inside of your arms, it takes a while for your body to acclimate to that. Yeah, yeah that's true. And dude, if you don't wear that thing and you don't wear the compression shorts and shit, and you do a long ride, your ass is going to be sore and chafed, and that's not a good thing. Yeah. It doesn't hurt to the point where you can't walk around, but the second you go to sit back down on a bike, it really fucking hurts. Or even like a seat the next day. Like, I've done a couple long rides without it, and that's what really made me get it. And fucking, dude, (laughs) just sitting down on my car seat was like, oh, my ass. Yo, I got one, and it fit me, like, weird. And when you turn the thing inside out, like the pad that went in there looked <laughs> look like a giant dick. And I was like, this is <laughs> sus. I can't wear these. So I just, I just never wore them. I didn't return them. They're like at my house if you guys want them. Yeah, after a couple seasons of bike riding, you get a tough ass, bro. Yeah, nice tough ass. Fucking real leathery fucking tough, tough, tough ass. <laughs> <laughs> a tough tuckus. A tough tuckus. We should make that. A tough a tushy. Let's call it the tough tuckus gang. <laughs> anytime, anytime I see somebody riding their bicycle on the street like that, I'm just be like, yo, that dude, that's a tough tuckus. <laughs> tough tuckus. <laughs> like, yo, Luigi, that's a tough tuckus. You think he's a singer in there? <laughs> he might not be able to, bro. Oh, yo, Luigi want, Luigi texted me last night. It's good thing we just brought that up. He wants me to call it. He wants to be called in. Nice. So he's going to charge his phone. He wants to call into the podcast. Today. All right, good. We'll give him a little bit of time to charge, and we'll fucking ring that motherfucker. I'll yeah. text him right now. Yeah, I never got into, like, that cycling Nah, it's it's also awesome. I couldn't wear I couldn't wear the outfits and shit. No, man. no, I n- I never I wore the outfit, the but outfit. I've done some long rides. Like I went mountain biking is where it's at. Yo, that looks so cool. Like That's in the something trails, yeah. in the trails. I've done. I used to do that a lot, but like I used to get shit for not wearing a helmet. But mountain biking is something I feel like it makes the. Oh no, it makes biking, sense to wear a helmet because yeah. you can just like cl- crash into a tree or Dude, I've, like. I've fucking I've wrecked a few times mountain biking. Yeah, quite a few. Yeah, yeah. Cathedral Pines has good trails. Yeah, they're pretty flat though. Like, There's a couple that are down. Yeah. They got logs and shit. I've actually, I've wrecked at Cathedral Pines. Really? Yeah. Like, uh, uh fucking flipped right over my handlebars. Oh, my God. <laughs> my friend had it on GoPro. It was so funny. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, but, mountain um, biking is fun when you go through trails. I did that once or twice. Yeah. It's just, you know what it is? It's hard, like, to find people because, 
like yeah, everyone can ride a bike, but not everyone can ride trails. Like yeah. it, like you have to be a fucking a rider, you know. Yeah. Like it's not just like oh, we're just cruising. You need some skill for that shit. Yeah, for sure. So like, that's one thing. Like me and my my buddy, we used to ride like three times a week because I live right by Glacier Ridge. Like I could w- I could ride f- from my house to Glacier and then you know do the trails and ride home. Nice. But uh. And my buddy, we would go, like, three times a week, and then he moved to Florida. So I was like, fuck, dude. I'm like, you kind of fuck me with this. <laughs> <laughs> now you don't got no fucking trail rider. Yes, and then it's like, you know, it's like anything. Like, you know, I mean, you can do it by yourself, but it's kind of boring, you know? Yeah. Remy, so. I'm, like, tingling and fucking cold now after I put that CBD shit on. Dude, CBD shit's great. Dude, you're always cold. Shout yeah, out, but like, um, it made me, because it's, like... Got menthol and peppermint. Yeah, I'm like, oh, oh so that's probably doing enough to see. I'm cold as shit. I, right yeah, now. <laughs> I was. Just I mean, it feels good though. My joints feel really good, but yeah, it's crazy. Shit, how that made me ice cold. Shout out to Cannabolics. Yeah, they hooked you up yesterday. Yeah. We, we went sent me a little care package. Oh, I saw that on Instagram. Yeah, my dude Christian. It's I awesome. got a care package for you. <laughs> Yo, we went to, we went to that like six smoke shop yesterday, and they had a ton of, like CBD gummies. And I looked at Remy, I'm like, oh, I don't really fuck with CBD, man. I feel like it's like <laughs> such bullshit. I'm like, I'd rather just buy like a ton of gummy bears than buy like forty dollars CBD gummy yeah. bears. Yeah. You got to get a good company. That's the thing because like <laughs> they a lot of companies put fillers, put like bullshit in their CBD, or it's not like the yeah, amount like that the they quality say. Quality and the content. Of yeah, the, and of you the CBD. and it affects it's not, people it's differently. It's not regulated. Yeah, that's so the thing. Like it's not you know FDA approved, so. You know, me and you can make a fucking CBD company today and just sell fucking Welch's gummy gummy bears and be like, hey, they're CBD gummy bears. Same thing with the Kratom, too. You can yeah. get some real Fugazi Kratom because yep. it's not overseen, you know? Like right. Yeah. Make, you got to get, like, certain companies that <coughs> make sure they yeah. do it properly, that it's pure. But it's I, I, I actually, I went, to, I went to school with this kid. Um, we went to Suffolk together. We were in the fitness program. and uh, The kid who owns kind of box? Yeah. Uh, well, one of them, yeah. And, um... It's legit company, definitely. They That's sell awesome. they sell it at all like the local gyms like South Shore Iron. They sell it at uh, at Unique. Like yeah, I've seen that. I've seen a lot of people that I follow on Instagram posting. Mm-hmm. That. Yeah, it's good shit. You know, I like the roll on. It's probably my favorite. He actually he sent me. Um, uh, they they have uh, the tinctures uh, rise and grind. I took this morning for the first time. What is it? It's a CBD like tincture. You know, like drops, um, but it's more like uh, uplifting. What are they? What is it? Uh, 1500 milligrams like what's it made in like what's the what makes it solid mct oil okay and then um they have uh the uh, rest and relax so that's like a nighttime probably has a little melatonin in there for yeah you. probably something i don't yeah. know i didn't really i didn't uh look at that one yet i, I didn't take it but Yo. um <coughs> terry g got the liquid iv huh yeah, I love I did the that shit. this morning too. I've been I've been heavy on it since you guys put me on it. So yeah, at least loves that shit. I, too. I haven't. Really, I had a cup of coffee last night. If I go see a cup of Joe, I grab coffee. Or if like I don't know, Sean gave me a cup of coffee here last night. But I've been drinking this instead of coffee every morning. Does really? that have caffeine in it? <laughs> this one does. Yes. Okay. You can, you it's can like get my, one with caffeine. Yeah, or I think without. I got the ones without the caffeine because I've been caffeine free. Yeah. But dude, it I feel it. I like I'll drink. I get to work. I put in my water and like. Ten minutes, I got like a little extra pep in my step. Nice. Yeah, people. I don't know. I had a couple conversations about de- like one was with Ot just about like he doesn't drink coffee at all. He drinks forty to sixty ounces of water like when he wakes up, and he was forty to sixty ounces. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. That's almost that's almost eight cups of water. Like I do two glasses ounces. when I first wake up. Well, you're probably that's at like a that's lot. A, that's like thirty two. I, I do twelve ounces. Yeah, depending on the size depending on the size of your glass. Like if it's like a pint glass, I think it's like sixteen or twenty ounces. Yeah, I do a pint. I do two yeah. pint. Two pint. Yeah, so that's oh, like thirty two ounces. That's that's thir- a, that's a pint is thirty two. No, no pint two si- pints. A pint sixteen. Oh, okay. So I, do, I do sixteen then. Yeah, I do do p- two <laughs> pints when I first wake up. I'll wake up. I got uh, like this at the crib. Yeah, something like that. I drink one of those. Yeah, that that two. Of the, yeah, if you drink two of those, that would be. Uh, I gotta say like that's one ounces. thing I'm fucking terrible with is drinking water. Really? Really? Yeah. I know. Shocker, right? Yeah, that's yeah, surprising dude. to me. I know. Me too. Do you drink other shit, or you just don't drink that much semen. liquid? A lot of semen. <laughs> I can feel, dude. If I don't drink enough water, I feel it. I yeah, feel yeah. Like yeah. shit, dude. Yeah, I get headaches crazy. right away. Anytime that Lisa's like, "Oh, I got a headache," I'm like, "Did you drink water today?" I tell Alexa the same shit. She's, she's like, like, "No." She's like, so I had a bottle. I'm like, "That's not enough." Not enough. Not dude, enough. Dude, I've uh, so like with the O two three thing. Like we have our like weekly like goals that we set, and mine is always to fucking drink water. So you never reach your goals. No, I mean, Great. I, ha- I yeah. have Great. Yeah, way to degrade yourself as a coach now. Great. No, no, I ha- doesn't I even <laughs> fucking practice what he Fuck preaches. Fuck you guys, all right? <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, recently I have been drinking water. Just not not when I wake up, because like, it's like the last thing on my mind. Like, I'm waking up, like, 
Yeah, you get, get your day started. Yeah, like, you it's the most important thing when you first wake up because you, you fucking your no, body goes to you work get at baked night. First, you get, dude. But, <laughs> no, plus you, plus dude, you I dehydrate. Sm- I haven't smoked. Saying, in a, in your body uses all the water that you had in your when you sleep. Like most people, also sweat when they sleep. Maybe not with the point where you wake up drenched, but you yeah. sweat a little bit in your yeah. sleep. Your body does a, most of its like recovery work while you sleep. So I dry water. You know what's crazy? I just jerk it. Jerk <laughs> it. I'll be snoring. Ghost like, riding. Oh. <laughs> you just ghost riding. No, but you're dehydrated, bro. You sleep yeah. eight hours minimum a but night, you, and it's like you don't take in any liquids. No, but you know what's crazy is that, um, so I've done like two weeks where I've, I've like made sure that I drank water in the morning, and then obviously like I've probably went my whole life without drinking water in the morning. And I don't feel any different. Like not even a little bit, dude. That's insane. It's crazy. I know it's it's weird because I want to feel different. Like I yeah. wanted to, you know. When I was drink, I was drinking a gallon of water a day. Yeah. For a while. That's awesome. Yeah, like forcing it. Like I brought a gallon around with me, and I made sure I drank that thing every day, and I felt amazing. Yeah, you yeah. feel so good. I mean, yeah, you, you just gotta piss all the every. Time. Fi- I can't do that. At work. Well, that's okay. Yeah, I just pull it out, dude. Wherever I'm at. Yeah, yeah your you your a, job's a little. Put a little sea salt doing? in there. A little Himalayan sea salt. That's what yeah. he does. That'll help uh, retain him. Oh, the guy who doesn't drink water giving us tips on how to drink our water. Damn. Dude, I drink water now. <laughs> Damn. But I'm saying it's like something I have to like consciously do. Yeah. Like but I, it's not like it's, it's good for everything. It's good for your metabolism. It's good for your your skin. Bro, I, brain I, yeah, function. I was gonna say I've seen um like YouTube videos where like they did like a 30 day like gallon of water a day, and you watch people's skin like yeah. improve oh, yeah, totally drastically. Really and then on top of that, they're yeah. like everything they told you about. You don't I get had that this conversation tr- with Alexa because <laughs> uh, she was having a problem with from wearing the masks. She was getting a little bit oh, of acne. Yeah. From the mask. I was like, yo, just. Up your water intake, and she's like, "No, nah, it's not gonna happen. That's not." How I'm like, "Yes, it does." Yep. She did it, and she's like, "I don't want to admit it, but you were right." Yeah. I know I was yeah. right. <laughs> you don't get that leathery, dry skin look, dude. You're, yeah. you're vibrant. You're glowing. <clears throat> but I gotta say, like, got that aura about you. You know what it is? I think just because like I'm pretty healthy in every other aspect, like besides drinking water. Besides drinking water. Yeah. Um, but even with my diet, like when I change my diet from whether it be keto or you know carnivore or this or that. I don't really notice that much of a difference. Like, I always feel pretty good. Yeah. You know, like, well, I've that's because you're at a good baseline with your overall yeah. health. Yeah. But that's like, somebody saying. that doesn't take care of themselves. Right. You'll notice it way yeah. different. Yeah. But I, I actually feel it when I don't drink enough water. I can, I Me can too. feel it. Because I've done like 30 days, like, only, uh, uh, no, it was like 45 days, only vegetables, like, like, pr- basically like vegan or vegetarian. Yeah. Like, this was like probably four or five years ago. And like, everyone was like, oh, you're going to feel so much better, blah, blah, blah. I read all these books about it. I felt the same. Like, wow. I felt healthy, but, wow. like, I always feel healthy. How much <laughs> weight did you lose 45 days just vegetables? None. Really? Yeah. I mean. I, I had a I had a friend. His wife was, she's overweight, and um, she was asking me for tips about, like, how to lose weight, how to be healthy. I'm like, you need to drink more water. You know, like, I try to put back a gallon a day. If yeah. not, I'm definitely <laughs> conscious of what I'm, you know, what I'm drinking. And she's like, I drink a lot of water. <laughs> I'm like, you do? She's like, yeah. She's like, I drink Snapple. Oh, <laughs> I looked at it with my fucking jaw wide open. I'm like, "Are you kidding me?" What six? Remember this? I'm y- like, I'm like, yesterday. that's not drinking water. Just because it says water and Snapple doesn't mean that you're fucking consuming water, right? Fat it's like idiot. A beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you call her a fat idiot. No, no. <laughs> I was like nice. Yesterday we went to the um. <coughs> we went. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, that white sand hit me different. Uh, <laughs> we went to uh, like a deli and. They had like that. What is it? Joe's iced tea. Joe's yeah. iced tea, and I'm like, oh, oh I heard, I heard so this shit's delicious. so good. No, it is. Like, it, it, man, like, it, it is. Good. So I was about to get it right. And I look at the nutrition yeah. facts: sixty six grams of sugar. I'm like, oh, never mind. I put it right back. Yeah, that's that's what's like. Even with the Arizona Tall Boys and shit, unless yeah. it's the Arnold Palmer or whatever yeah. Palmer, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> every every drink that's in yeah. a bottle that ha- is flavored is Loaded. full. But yo, Gatorade, that, that yeah. kombucha was fucking delicious. Yeah, oh, it kombucha's good. the shit. No, it, it had like, it came in like a can, like a soda can. Like, like a, yeah, like a soda yeah. can. It was br- brewed like locally, it said up there. That's awesome. In Connecticut. It was, uh, you what was it? Something rosemary. I don't know. You know it was hitting though, because <laughs> we had to find the freaking toilet right yeah, after. Oh, like dude, I had to push a log out. Yeah, like yeah. Two, two sips. He's like, yo, I feel it in my stomach already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kombucha hits different. Yeah. Kombucha, I, I mean, love kombucha. That's Me definitely too. one thing that I'm, I'm really good at is that like the only liquids that I really consume is water and kratom. Yeah. 
Yeah, and the kratom and the kratom I drink is straight. There's no lemonade. There's and no it has lemonade. water in it, so that's more water. Dude, so I'm fucking <laughs> yeah. I'm killing it, dude. I'm killing my goals, bro. That's, that's, yeah, I really that's don't drink up. anything other than water, kratom, and kombucha, honestly. Yeah. yeah. I stopped drinking Gatorade years ago because I felt like it's, it's so just so sugar. it's so heavy though. Yeah. yeah. It's all sugar. If you didn't yeah. uh, Gatorade is good when you just Eat finish it. your workout. Yeah, but even then, like I it's too heavy for me. I've I been, hate the way I I've feel. Been, I've been mixing in one Gatorade when I'm sweating like Crazy at work. At yeah. Like lunchtime, I'll have one just because, like, I sweat so much shit out. We have you these. Know, you know how you can make it like a, a basically a natural Gatorade? Salt. Well, yes, but. Uh, Fruit slices. Yes. Dirty dirty socks? Semen. No. Semen. Yo, bingo. Yeah. No, uh, you take, you, you take like, uh, eight or 12 ounces of water, right? You squeeze uh, a full lemon, a full lime, and then, like, two tablespoons of honey. And uh, like some salt. Nice. And that's your natural Gatorade. If I'm if I'm sweating a lot at work, I want to get these for the house. They're dope. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Squenchers. They're the shit. No. Nah. No. D Rock. No. They're awesome. It's like they're like they're, this. They're like this, but smaller, way way smaller. Like uh, <clears throat> probably half the thickness, and like they're probably like that big. It's just powder. Has electrolytes and shit. You put it in your water. And shake it up. It, it tastes delicious. It's really shake it up. Yeah, it's really, those, uh, it's really fucking good. The, the noon tablets, like I had yesterday. At the tournament. Oh, yeah. I was wondering what those were. Yeah, they're just, it's the same thing. Electrolyte, and it has, like, a bunch of vitamins and minerals. Yeah. It's crazy, though, too, man. Like, I got guys at work, and, like, <laughs> it's funny. Like, so, like people are just built different, too. I say it all the time. Yeah, we're built different. We really are. Like, from doing jits for a long time. and Wrestling. Just wrestling, just whatever. And dudes at work, man, we'll be working all day, sweating. And these kids are like, oh, I got to sit down. I, I'm getting a headache. And I'm like... You drink enough water? They're like, yeah, I had like five bottles, which they did, but like they don't realize that like when you're sweating out, you need w- double. You well, not double, but you need something like to electrolytes. Re- yeah, exactly. You need to replace your your drinking water. You need five bottles just for baseline, bro. Yeah, if yeah. you're sweating, they say yeah. like uh, on average you should be doing at least half your body weight in ounces. Oh wow! Yeah, wow. That's like I also I also heard too that if you drink when you're thirsty, <laughs> like if you too like, late, too late. You can't you can't put that water to your lips if you're thirsty. Yeah. It's already too late. You got to do it before. So I thought that was a pretty interesting uh, fact. I never thought of it like that either. I was mm-hmm. just like, oh, I'm thirsty. I'm going to get a cup of water. But yeah. if Same you're thing when you're hungry. Usually it's your thirst. Yeah. Yep. Did you say that? You're yeah. dehydrated. Yep. Thirsty or you're bored. A lot yeah. of people eat because they're bored. Yeah. You'll learn that when you go when you fast. Mm-hmm. Like when I did that long fast, I was like. I came back from it. And I'm like, wow, I really don't need to eat. Like, I'm just a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, I've been I've been pretty good with my fasting for like the last like six months or so. Like, I would say like, when was that in the winter time when we were talking about that 24 hour fast at Ronnie's place? We did that podcast. Mm-hmm. Was that like the winter? Yeah, I think that was like the winter, right? Yeah, cold. Yeah, it was like January, February. Yeah. yeah. So I've been pretty good with my my fasting since then. You know, doing my uh, 16 eight. Mm-hmm. So I feel good though when I do, man. I don't like when I. When I cheat and I'll have like a cheat day, which I always frown upon. Like you should just have a cheat meal if you're gonna do something. But like yeah. a cheat, it usually turns. If you're on vacation or some shit. Yeah, like that. but man, I feel like sh- dog shit, dude. I love oh, yeah. I love walking around with like an empty stomach most feeling of the time. Feeling flat, feeling like feeling ready flat. To go. Yeah, like when you eat too much, man, you're like, fuck. Why, well, dude? I've this? intermittently fasted for the last like five years now. Yeah, yeah, I've been doing it for about five, six years, and I I notice when I do that. The inflammation I get from a bad meal is so much worse. Oh my god! Like, like, isn't it crazy? It's yeah, crazy. Like I'll go from like you said, feeling like flat, and if I have like a, a shit meal, like in the morning, right? I'm like, dude, my I feel like a belly. Yeah. All of a sudden, and I'm like, I didn't eat enough to be fat, but it's like the inflammation just pushes that gut. Yeah, out. exactly. Yeah. I was just about to say, you feel bloated, right? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It is crazy. It doesn't last as long though, because my body's pretty adept to like handling it. But like that first like hour, I'm like, yo, what the yeah. fuck? Like, and I then I don't like, feel like my skin pushing on my belt. Yeah, <laughs> I know that's, it's crazy. That's when the kombucha comes in and the fucking logs come out. Yeah, but not only do you feel that bloat, right? But you also feel sluggish. You do feel like very yeah. sluggish. Oh yeah, hundred percent. You know, and foggy. I feel foggy in yeah. my brain. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's crazy, man. I was telling Danny um, a big reason why I like to fast and diet is because I f- it gives me like a mental edge. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, yeah, like when I look around and like the other night, Kelly what, is that her name? Kelly from No Limit, D Rock. Yeah, she brought in cupcakes for Stocks graduation, and oh, you want a cupcake? You want? And I'm like, I'm good. You know, and like. I don't know. It, it's it's something small to most people, but for me, it's like it gives me like a mental high where I'm like I could say no 
I could say no to that. Someone brought in like Whaley the Whaley cake or whatever from Carvel. Fudgy the whale, baby. Fudgy the whale. I was like, I'm good on that. Like, yeah. it just makes me feel a little bit more savage, you know? Like, yeah, because like, you can, you, you have, have control that other people don't have. That's what it is, yeah. you know. And yeah. I know it's nothing crazy, but it just gives me that little bit of a mental edge where it's like, no, but well, all little those battles, little things add up. Yeah, little battles add up, man. If you because if you don't do that, you're gonna be like, well. I already had this, might as well have that. Right. I already right. had that the other day, might as well have that. Right. And it just turns into a cycle. Yeah, and then in two weeks, you're like, holy shit, I've had five pieces of cake, three cupcakes, yep. I went and cheated yeah. and had a burger. Like, it, it definitely adds up, you know? See, what I do, too, if I do allow myself that indulgence, I earn it the next day again. Right. Like, I'm like, all right, I had, like, uh, Friday night, I had those cupcakes. So Saturday, I went and trained. Hit hard. And then I hit three miles on the road. Yeah, hit it hard. You know, like, all right, I did that. This is the this is the cost. Yeah, right? you got to pay is, the toll, which is fine because like, I mean, at the end of the day, like you, you're here to like live your life, like correct. You know, you don't want to like always be like that because then, like, that's the one big reason why I didn't want to do bodybuilding when I was younger because it's like I don't want to live like a fucking, you know, like like I have to do this and I have to do that and you know, like I want to actually like if I'm at a party and somebody does offer me something like I want to be able to like right. maybe yeah. I don't but I want to have the ability to. Eat what you know, whatever it is. I always my my philosophy has always been earning it. So yeah, Monday through Friday, I'm training hard. My diet is right. So if on the weekend I want to have a little indulgence, I've earned it. Correct. And then I also earn it again the next day. Like, okay, I I had my indulgence. I gotta I gotta earn that back. Yeah. So I go hit it hard the next day. And I guess that's the problem with most people who do cheat and indulge. They never earn it. Yeah. Yeah. They're just like, oh, it's yeah. way more satisfying when you do earn it. Like you, you, you refrain from those things yeah. during the week. You earn that shit. So it's more satisfying. Like, yo, okay. That pizza was in front of me. That cupcake was in front of me five, six times this week. And I declined it. So now Saturday night it's in front of me. Yo, I earned this one. Correct. And it, and well, it, it, <coughs> it tastes better. Yeah. It's like when you have a rest day where you like veg out, like I never do that. So the day that I do it, I earn that shit. Cause yep. I don't do it yeah. often. It's more rewarding. It was like, uh, you know, me for the tournament, cutting weight, you know, all week. And it's just like, I finally I made weight, or like actually way underweight. I mean, who knows? Their scale was on fucking carpet. And shit. <laughs> yeah, but like, you also had Kamucha and you fucking shit out a log, dude. No, that was after weight. Oh, after that's weight. true. But, do, um, do be facts. Yo, I feel like they're making these scales light because they want the competitors who are close to, like, get in there. Some places do do that. I don't yeah, know, because, probably. like, it happened now, this happened at... The Naga, first Naga AC. Naga AC, but before that there was another one. What was it? So or something? When, no, when you when you mail you uh you texted them a picture of the scale at your gym so everyone was on different scales in different locations. Who like, did that? Uh Danny was had to weigh in for somewhere and he had to send a picture. Oh, so it was like a virtual like virtual weigh in? Weigh-in. Yeah. That's stupid. That's whack. That's whack. Yeah. But everyone's got a different scale. You could put like a penny on the scale. Right, I was saying you could just put anything. You could put like this, like fold this up a little bit, put it under, and it just throws off the weight a little bit. Dude, I remember like wrestlers in high school. Their coaches, like the kid, was trying to make weight, so he weighed him butt naked. So you had two coaches holding a towel in front of him. The third coach leaning over from behind, looking at the scale to see what his his and his dingling. No, no, and he would just lift the kid's butt cheek up just a little bit to make weight. Yeah, or you know what you do is you go. Like if, if just, it's at your like home this. school, you you weigh yourself on every corner and the middle, and you see what you come out the lightest. And now you go on, you step on, and everybody knows. Hey, bottom left corner is the lightest. That's true too. You know, we yeah. used to do that. Yeah, that's true. Um, <coughs> Luigi just texted me. He can, he wants to he wants to be conferenced in. All right, let's let's phone uh, let's phone Luigi, bro. That was another thing about Connecticut, dude. I feel like everybody was saying phone instead of like call. Let's call him phone. I heard somebody say like, oh, we'll phone him. We'll later. phone him. That's like an old. That's like an old fucking thing, like yeah, like we'll early nineteen hundreds. Yeah, like we'll the movie Clue, later. like, oh, phone Nicholas, see if he wants to yeah. come over for supper tonight. <laughs> That's Nick- something Eric Ott would say. Yeah. Oh, dude, uh, I can see that. I I'll, call, seen- I'll call him on my telephone. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I will, uh, I will Ronnie, f- do you have my telephone number? D Rock, take off your personal belongings because I do not want them to be damaged. Take your take your take your, your items with you. Yes. <laughs> dude. 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 What up, brother? Can you hear us? Yeah. How's what it going? You, guys doing? you know what we're doing, baby. Um, bro, we're podcasting. You live on yeah. you live on Jason I'm, Tits. I'm laying on the beach right now. It sounds like it, bro. Yeah, that's not working out, Luigi. You got to get off the beach. That that the the breeze is the wind is terrible sounding. Fuck. Put a ta- put <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, just put a towel over your head. Block the wind. Hold on. Let's see. 
Sounds sounds like you just woke up too, bro. What are you doing? I did. I did just wake up. I woke up and came right to the beach. Is that better? That's yeah, better. so much better, yeah. bro. He said, I got a he, I, he, I, I got a towel right over my face. You know? <laughs> You're doing everybody on the beach a favor right now. Oh damn, Luigi, we miss uh, you, man. I know, I miss being over there. Yeah, that's why dude. I like this this whole technology thing where I can call in. <laughs> this I'm is not sure how any of this works. But this is amazing, I'm right? Glad. How's this shit even I'm work, bro? How does it even work? No idea. Who the fuck is that? Is that Pat? No, no it's me, it's bro. Nick. Oh. oh I'm like man. Pat for a second. Dude, that I just hurt my yo, that just yeah, hurt my feelings, up. bro. That's, that's, that's a, a that's I'd a, rather uh, I'd rather you I, oil I, check I, me than call me Pat. <laughs> no, I, hear, I hear Nick now. Yo, um, speaking of oil checks, Luigi, what about fucking Craig Jones using your techniques, dude? I know I had to. I tagged them, I, and then a bunch of did. You know how many people sent me that fucking? They all that should. Thing? You should have told all of them to tag Jiffy Jitsu on that. I like, did. If, en- if enough people do it, he'll probably see it, Luigi. Dude, I had I had probably no joke, probably forty or fifty people send me that meme. Well, oh, that, yeah. that Instagram post. You, you surprised by that? <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, I mean, man, you're, really. get, yo, you're getting robbed left and right, bro. You got a patent now. Yeah. Yo, he, got, he got robbed with his back take shit from Gordon Ryan, and now he's getting robbed, <laughs> by, he, he getting robbed by the oil check with Craig Jones, dude. You guys remember that meme that went around? It was like uh, when you're at the bar and you see the young kids. What is that? Oh, dude, that's the slingshot. You never seen that before? It's, it's, got, it's got a back seat too. It's yeah. whack, dude. You see those guys jumping up and down in it like they want everyone to look at them. <laughs> yeah, I've only I haven't seen them with the back with like the rear seat. Yeah, they have two rear seats. Some of them. All right, um, back to the story. There was a meme that was going around like a year or two ago, and it was like uh, I think it was Jack Nicholson like making a like that face, that crazy face he makes, and, and it's The like, Shining. Yeah, and it's like when you see the the young twenty something guys at the bar messing with the old the older. The older guy with cauliflower ears or whatever. I got <laughs> sent that meme by everybody I know. Oh, oh really? Wait, is it, they calling you old, dude? With yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's, it was like when you see the young kids uh, messing with the middle-aged guy at the bar oh, with now cauliflower ears. So like, now like, it's like, middle-aged. Yeah. That's what it was. It was like the middle-aged guy. I was like, damn, I guess I'm middle-aged. I think that came around like when those kids got into the fight in the bathroom and they fucked him up and they all had cauliflower ear. Yeah. Like they fucked up the football player that was like... No, it was before player. that. Was? Yeah, because that, yeah, that kid was in college. No, I'm saying, but I feel like that like... I know, but I feel like that spurred like that whole... Like because those kids had cauliflower ear or whatever and that spurred the whole thing like don't fuck with people. Nah, that, means, that, that thing's been around for years. Yeah, yeah, this was like a couple years ago. You gotta be a fucking yo, idiot to start a fight. Yo, Luigi, did you hit the bottle you. last night or you just waking up sounding groggy, bro? He hit yeah, the that pipe. Was like fucking three or four in the morning. I mean, I didn't hit the pipe, but I. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Yo, Luigi, since we got you on the horn, bro, question of the day would. Right. Would you rather fight someone or get into a fight with someone that has a knife or a gun? Um, probably a knife. Okay. It depends. Like, are they? It depends on the situation. Yeah. It's like, a... so how how are we starting? Are we starting with them in, in like in their pockets? Like, a run after them? Are we starting no, with they them got like it, holding it? They got it's it. Pull, they got it pulled on you. Like, but you're here, in, you you're in like you're in like a room. You're not. You're in a regular yeah, size I'd rather, room. I'd rather them. I'd rather knife them. Because a gun, you can only move so much, and like actually knife, no. I should rephrase this because what started this conversation, actually, you're like, you're in a parking lot because that's where this started from. Oh, okay. There's a little backstory to this. Yeah, 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 you can't can't run. I should have prefaced this because, so somebody got apparently robbed at knife point in a parking lot locally. And that's how this came up. That poor Jeff? No, it was Patchogue apparently. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, yeah, and Patrick like, was going down the Someone shitter. got stabbed in Port Jeff, and two people got shot. Two people got shot right in front of the frigate. Yo, more yeah. of these. Yo, we gotta get like leak more of these stories. So like the real estate prices drop in Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I got fucking shot last night. I'm gonna have Remy shoot me with like an arrow. I got shot with an arrow last night <laughs> in the village. Somebody got fucking. <laughs> somebody got attacked with a fishing line. <laughs> <laughs> got their lip hooked. <laughs> yeah, because for me, it's 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 definitely like situational. It, there's a lot of questions. Yeah, I'd rather. Like I'd rather if it's a, if it's in their pockets, I'd rather a gun because I could just hold them, and then even if they kind of grab onto it, at least I could I'll have enough control where I can have it. Now, would, knife, now, would, now would an oil check be used in a in a gun situation? I mean, it, no, it, no, I'm oil checking like their eyes or <laughs> no. Any orifice besides that, that, the ass in that, that situation? That's that's after they pass out. 
Nice. Like after I choke them, they pass out. Then I'm going in the end. But that, <laughs> I, I'm not going to tell them that as they're passing out. Like, like I'm you're going to wake up. Stick my fingers inside gonna, you. I'm Get that booty hole right Yes. I'm gonna fuck you in the ass because you're passing out. Right as now. as it as it's fading to black, Luigi's just like your booty hole's mine, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you were gonna rob me. I robbed your ass virginity. Yes, exactly. Pretty much. This is yeah. a step oh. up. Yeah, because for me too. Then it's like, what kind of what kind of gun are we talking about? Right, we're talking rifle, about like a rifle, a, a handgun, a shotgun. I mean, know? if they already got in the hand, though, I'd rather have a knife because a knife, I at least I have. You get distance. Some like, kind of chance. If, if they already have the gun pointed at me. I'm like unless they're just scared to take the shot, I'm dead. So I'd rather take my chance with a knife. See, this is why this is why I disagree, and uh, I'll explain my thought process behind this. <clears throat> a knife, anybody, it's a gross motor skill. It doesn't require really any skill. It's just a stabbing motion or a slicing motion. Anybody can do that. A gun, you have to have some level of skill to aim and yeah. operate it. Uh, and a knife is way more dangerous, man. You could get stabbed and not even know it. And once you get stabbed or sliced. You could get stabbed and sliced multiple times in seconds with that yeah. by somebody who's not skilled at all. Yeah. A gun, man, you know, you got to aim that thing. It's loud when it goes off. It could startle you and the other person. So the, I feel like the chances of you getting shot well, are lower I than the, the chances gun, of you getting stabbed. I thought the gun pointed at you already. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm with Luigi on that. Like, if, if the guy has the like gun... Like, if the gun's pointed at me... He just has to shoot in your vicinity. And how far are you yeah. away? Are we talking a couple of feet? Are we talking like you're 20 feet away from this guy? We have a chance to like run or they, they said running well, wasn't honestly, an option. Honestly, if if he's 20 feet away from you, I'd rather take the gun be, if it's a that's pistol. hard. That's hard. That's hard it's to aim. That's hard to aim. If we're far enough away, I'd I know. But take either way, at least I can duck down. Like, like a Glock. Like, no, I know. But if he's 20 feet away with a knife, that's literally no threat to you. Like a Glock that's nine. True. It goes both ways. You know what I'm saying? Like Remy's saying, like yeah, but you like, go you go both ways. No, but you know, like I ju- I think ju- <laughs> just the fact that like they could take you out, like. I don't know. Look at statistically, like no, but, people who've been stabbed and lived, and people who've been shot and lived. I guarantee people who've been stabbed and lived. No, but if higher. you look at it, look at it like look at it like how D Rock saying, if he's twenty feet away from you with a gun, you can get away. Right? Yeah, but, yeah, but they said you, you can't run. They said you can't run. You also, have to scrap. No, no, you could talk. You can get out of the way. But if you're <laughs> dodging bullets, and then, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so major. Once you get once you get up to him, at least you're not. You know, you're not going to get sick. You're going to have to fight the guy anyway. Right, you're yeah, not running yeah. away. You got to fight the guy. So if you're 20 feet away, he's got a gun. You're gonna you're gonna take your chances of getting shot. Because like what D Rock's saying, once you get in close, you can get stabbed a few times. But if you're like fucking five feet away from the guy, I'd rather take my chances with a knife because if he's got a gun pointed at me, all he's got to do is pull a trigger. Yeah, but and, I don't you know, know how. I don't know, man. You got to think about aim. The, the stress response in people. Like, are they really gonna be able to aim and hit you? And, well, if, well, and if you're far away, a pistol is very inaccurate. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's, a, there's a like lot of deciding feet, factors. How much here. training does this like street thug have on like being accurate with their shots? And how how well like what if they pulled the gun and they really didn't expect you to fight back and what they never it? intended to shoot you? You know, mm. are they are they going to have that's the, a whole different situation? Well, that's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. This is like definitely it's a big situation. What if question. it's a shotgun and they don't even have to get close? They just have to shoot in uh, the right shotgun shotgun direction. It, if it's shotgun, it defense. just got a perch shot and you fucking yeah. That then you're, you're fucked because that shit spreads. Yeah, you're yeah. But if up. but if you're more than forty yards away, a shotgun's not going to do shit. Right. But you eventually have to fight. You have guy. to fight the. Per- you have to get within the distance. They're not going to shoot until they're within like a fucking yeah. comfortable range for them. I don't yeah. know. If it's a shotgun, you're you're it's it's bad news. Yeah. But if it's if, like a pistol, if we're if, if we're five feet away from each other and somebody has a gun on them, rifle, shotgun, or pistol, I'm taking those odds. I'm oh, gonna, okay, I'm gonna, five gonna, feet away because you think I'm you could get to the their distance, hand, close yeah. the distance yeah. before they pull the trigger. Yep, off. and then I'm gonna give them the old dick twist and end it right there. Figure four chicken wing. How you doing? The old dick twist. The old dick twist. Yeah, and if it's like a rifle or shotgun, I mean, all you gotta do is control the barrel. That's it. Know? It's yeah. not like with a, a pistol knife, man, is a little different. A, a knife you could still get sliced, even if you have some level of control, because yeah. it doesn't take a lot to if slice it's a, and stab. Yeah, right. and, and it's hard for him to let go of that knife. He's just making a fist naturally yeah. anyway. So if you, I would take the gun. If it's a rifle, you could pull like a Bugs Bunny, Elmer Fudd, and just bend the barrel down and point it at the guy's face. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I I got a question though the today. How the hell do we go from like questions of the day involving sex and fucking others like it was a submission? It was a submission. Like, we we're to, we're diversive here, bro. Killing we're, everybody now. Well, yeah, this this was a submitted question. I, I, I think it's diversity. And now we're killing everybody instead of fucking everybody. What's going on, dude? Well, last you're week you get a murder boner from defending yourself. Ooh, and then you murder boners are hot. <laughs> All right, fair enough. 
<laughs> Murder bonus are where, where it's at. Yeah. Yeah, last week we hit the podium up. Yo, we uh, we debated on the top. Oh, two weeks ago, we debated on the top three sex positions. Um, What do you what do you got? You could chime in on this one, too. It depends on, like. The girl? Lately. Or the, or the boy? <laughs> it depends. Lately. Yeah, lately it's getting my ass eaten and jerking over. That's my favorite. That's not a, sex it's not a position, oh. dude. It's got to <laughs> <it's gotta> be <laughs> P and V. <laughs> or P and that's not. Luigi, oh. that's not lately. That's been since I met you. <laughs> D-Rock's like, that's no, not that's, a that's, position, that, that comes and goes. That comes and goes. Yeah, that's, so do you. That's <laughs> <only> <laughs> he comes uh, and goes everywhere. Yeah, uh, Luigi, that's not a position. Overall favorite position, I guess. Yeah, I'll, I'll just say. Cow, don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. You tell just like, roll over and you're like right like kind of behind them. And they're kind of like. Uh, oh, it's not, spooning. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's basically spooning. Is yeah. that spooning? Yeah, it's spooning. Okay. They call that I'm just because I'm because I'm always horny in the morning. So that's my favorite time. That, that, is that, that what you're doing right favorite. now? You are jerking it on the beach? Yeah. Now he's getting hard. I, no, I, I did that already. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I, did that, I did that before I went to the beach. That's awesome. Yeah. No, I think um, I think it was cowgirl and reverse cowgirl that took the cake. That, I mean, those are good. But... No, it was reverse cowgirl and doggy. I think. Oh, you're right. My bad. It was doggy. Or no, but it was doggy face down on your stomach. Yeah. Yeah. Stock loved that position. <laughs> yeah, that was wild. And Joe was sitting right next to him. He's like, "Yeah, you do this and you do that." And I was like, "Damn." Yeah, I locked I locked eyes with Jill. I'm like, "Yo, you're on just in tits." Like you knew you were getting into. Welcome, Jill gets mad bashful too. She does. I, ha- I yeah, I, f- I like fell for her a little bit there. You did? Yeah, I was like, I was like, oh, stock. I was like, I can't believe we still asked this question with like his fucking <laughs> with his girl his here, sexual partner right next to him. Oh, that's funny. Uh, Yo, so how was last night, Luigi? Was it busy? Any yeah. Sucker punches. <laughs> no, actually, elbows? Speak, speaking of that, he actually, he went from the worst, like the number one worst fucking customer we had to number three over the weekend. Oh, wow. You had two, um, two, two shares. We had two, we had two people at this place try to piss over the edge. So they immediately, like two, and two separate nights. Onto the crowd? No, into the, onto the beach, like beach. off the edge. We haven't had that in fucking years, and then this weekend we have two people on consecutive nights try to do that. So they made Pat actually look better. I don't know. I didn't even think that was possible. But. <laughs> think, really? That's he, he went. He went from the worst to number to the third worst. Pat's not. Pat's not helping. He's still on the podium. Though. I know, but <laughs> on the podium, dude. Yeah, I feel like Pat, no. I feel Isn't like, there a bathroom up there? Like, what yeah, the fuck. Yeah, it's probably like, a super long line. That place no, is there's always also. A, I mean, a beach. Walk down the stairs. Oh, just piss. walk down the stairs and piss inside the piss off. Yeah, off the deck. That's a good yeah. point. Go anywhere really else, point. but on the fucking deck, you piece of shit. Yeah, I know, but at the same time, Pat should still be number one because he's friends with all you guys. I was so just he, about he to should say be, that. He should be held to a higher standard. I was those, just about to those say other guys don't know you at all. Like Pat knows you, and he clearly made your job harder. Yeah, fuck Pat. He's yeah, fuck Pat. He's still the. <laughs> is, is, uh, is Pat's picture up? Is he welcome back there, or is he on a little nah. suspension? Yo, you should. Uh, Pat's, not, it. Pat's not welcome back for like two years. You should Damn. print. Yo, can you? I got that USADA suspension. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> if I print Pat's face, like, uh, we'll put, yo, we're Little gonna print wanted. the picture, the Photoshop I'll one. Put, I'll put it at. I'll put it at the ferry. The abs it's one. It's gonna. Be, yeah, the, the abs one. The one. The one that was just in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that picture. That, if, that, you that, see that, the, if you see this guy, yeah, don't I think Mac is just standing right next to me. It's Marcus, yeah. I just grabbed it there. Um, <laughs> oh, because he's well, under like, the towel I, right now. I, I have the towel over my head, and someone puts their leg on me, so I just I rub my hand up their leg and grab Marcus. Yeah. He's like, That's I, awesome. I, and I like how he didn't even see his face. He's like, yeah, I grabbed his dick. It was yeah, definitely Marcus. Yeah, I can dick. tell by that dick. I, I know that dick that anyway. Dick. I know that girth. Yeah. Yeah, Terrence was saying uh, that that Photoshop picture of Pat had better abs. Than he actually it has. Does. <laughs> it does. Yeah, Rick was saying that too. He's yeah, like, yeah, he this was. guy has more abs. Oh, it's so funny, Babs. man. <laughs> I got to get your weight up, not your hate up for Nick, too. Okay. Let's do it, Let's baby. Hear it. Let's get into it. Kids, kids that fucking leave bottles and water bottles and fucking drinks all over the fucking beach. Oh, that's, that's horrible. Nice. That's, that's horrible. horrible. I did. Speaking I, I of that. I woke up at like 7.30 this morning. I had to take a shit, and I couldn't go back to sleep. So I was like, fuck it. I'll go out to the beach for a minute. Take a shit. So I, went, I went, got a cup of coffee, went, and I walked to the beach. And then there's like... You can see where all the people like hang out. There's yeah. one section that says fucking just the garbage is literally twenty feet away. It's fucking water people, bottles, people soda bottles, scumbags. beer bottles. Like you fuck it took me two minutes to clean the shit up. Like you could have fucking did that before you left. Is that yeah. much of a rush? That's fucking so messed up. Yeah. 
every year when I go f- like yeah. r- like uh, when I go fishing, I'll bring a, a fucking garbage bag with me, right? So I'll walk down the beach, fish a little bit. On my way back, I'll fill up a fucking garbage bag. Like I can't even. I Your can't even bring enough garbage away. bags to, yeah, to fucking fill up. Yo, last night the girls were outside. I was just going to say this. Yeah, last <laughs> night the girls were outside hanging out on the bench. It was uh, Lise, Taylor, and uh, Jamie. Jamie, yeah. And two guys walked by from north. You know, they're passing 89 North going down to the village. And the guy stops and takes a beer bottle and puts it in Eric's Ott hibiscus plant flower pot outside the big flower pot. In front pot. of them. Right, right in front of them. Front of the girls. Like, like locks eyes with them and puts it in the Right in point. the flower pot. So Taylor's like, what are you doing? Trying to like, like, are they trying to impress her? Like, what the fuck no, are I they doing? I don't know, but she was like, what are you doing? She's like, there's a garbage fucking two feet down. She's like, take that out. Guy like, oh, I'm sorry. He, go, he goes, don't tell anybody. No, so he takes it out and then as he's walking past Taylor, he looks at her and goes, don't tell anybody. And she's like, keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and, they, and then they came back they came later, back, like yeah. walking to their cars and I don't know if they said, how's it going? And I don't know if she said keep walking or something again. No, no, they. I was out there. They, they were c- coming back and... I- uh, and he was saying, Karen, I, I got to say, I love how mean she is to everybody. Yeah, she's like, a hater. She, and you're totally she, opposite. She's awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 let me finish, finish what you were saying. No, yeah. so, so I was sitting out there, and uh, so those two same guys came walking back, and uh, the guy's like, oh, he's like, do you guys ever go to the float place? And we're like, we're looking at him like, we're like uh, I've been there once, you know, and he's like, oh, yeah, it's awesome. And then he's like, looks at us, and like, you could tell, like, I didn't know, because I didn't know it was the same two guys. So I'm like, what the fuck is with these guys? And and Taylor was like, mean mugging them. And he's like, oh, he's like, <laughs> he's like, uh, I, I like the vibes over yeah, here. Yeah, he said great energy over yeah, here. Yeah, he's like, great energy over here. What did Taylor say? She was just Taylor, definitely just, she just grilled. like grilled them, didn't even say anything. Yeah. And then they walked by, and I'm like, I was like, who the fuck were those? She's like, those are the t- two same fucking assholes who put the beer bottle. I'm like, oh, you should have said something. I would have fucking told them to go fuck themselves. Yeah. Well, it's funny, dude, because, like, I'm mad observing. Like, I'm always, like, looking around and taking in, like, the like the scene and shit. We saw them, same. like, lean in. Yeah, I saw them, and I was like, yo, what was that all about? Because, like, they, like, leaned in behind Jamie where, like, the, 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 the flower pot was and shit. And I saw, like, Taylor say something. So I'm like, yo, are these guys being fucking rude to the girls? Yeah. I'm like, man, maybe Lisa will tell me to dance. <laughs> My dancing shoes are always on. They're always on, bro. Yeah, fuck those scumbags. Yeah. Well, they did. They made the idle conversation because they felt like jerk offs. Yeah, that's what they said. Yeah. They 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 legitimately felt stupid. Yeah, as they should have. And then yeah. they walk back, and we're still sitting out there, and they're like, "Oh, uh, uh, yeah, you guys uh, go to the float place." Yeah, <laughs> but it is. Yeah. It's bullshit, man. I hate I hate people who do that. shit. You love the vibes at this place so much that you fucking throw trash in the flower pots. Place, yeah. yeah, and like. How do you do that in front of people? I know. Like, it's one thing if, like, it's middle of the night, nobody's there. Like, it's not not that it's fine, but it's, like, that's a little bit better than fucking doing it right in front of three people sitting outside. Yeah. It's like, are you fucking stupid? Yeah, that shit pisses me Just off. I hate shit in front of a Yeah, I hate, I hate watching people drive and throw oh shit out God. the window. No, I did that one time. I don't, I don't mean to cut you guys off, but I wish you guys were here right now. I just took a towel off my face. <laughs> I wish you guys were here right now. Uh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Did you think we were sitting in front of you? <laughs> no, Take definitely the towel not. Off and he's like, "Fuck! I thought they were here." <laughs> Dude, do you wish we were there because no, there's good no. butts on the beach right now? Is that what it is? The rock knows exactly what I'm talking yeah, about. There's got to be good butts on the beach. <laughs> yeah. That's why. Oh. Missed some good butts <laughs> yesterday at the tournament. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Luigi. Remy took third yesterday. It's took first good. place in the butts, though. Yeah, Remy had a fucking wagon on him. Yo, in the game. Remy, had, had Remy had the nicest. Remy had the nicest ass there. Yeah, <laughs> I stripped in front of everyone. I got got out of my gi at the end. I don't know if I. I don't know if I could. Uh, I could agree with that. Yeah, no, there were some better butts than me. There was this. Not wo- that I was looking or anything. There was this yeah, um, one kid there, like cheering for like his fucking teammate or whatever, and he was the most obnoxious oh kid. Oh, my God, that one, the, the kid, went, kid he, yeah, he the w- fanny pack. Yeah. yeah, they were from Henzo Gracie. Oh, like, my uh, gosh, he was something. so annoying. And he's like, yeah, this is why I come, just so I could yell. I was like, cool, man. Like, you're Dude, so like, annoying. The kid, like, didn't even do anything special. And he's like, yeah, yeah. He's like fucking yelling. He was like two shit. points, two points. And it's like, no, that wasn't even a sweep, dude. Like, you're the only one here who thinks it's a sweep. Yeah. Loser. Loser. But yeah, that tournament was cool. It was like it was so many fucking people there. I'd like to see. We should check on their which Instagram. One, which one was that? That was the tap, tap cancer. cancer. Yeah. I, I'd like to see how much money they raised because I'll I'll think all the people working there were volunteers. I could find out. And yeah, I'm gonna E-Rock. look on their Instagram. Yeah, E Rock. You know that kid Doug the brown belt? Yeah, he was there. He won. I think. How How did he do? 
I, I don't know. I wasn't there, so. Uh, yeah, he was there. We saw him. Rob, I remember we shooting the shit with him for a little bit. But, yo, yeah. I want to take a second, actually, and shout out one of our boys, uh, Dre. He had his uh, he had his daughter last night. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Did he really? Yeah. Uh, Congratulations. Congrats. Dre's a poppy. Damn, Dude, Papa, Papa Dre. Had a baby Had a baby girl. Let's all, let's all give him a little uh, yeah. little congratulations. I'm gonna text him right now. Yeah, I'm man, his life right is now. gonna change now, dude. That's it. Having a kid, your life is completely different. It's Papa Bear now. Yeah, yeah. Papa Dre, kid. I mean, it's not that much different. It's just, you know, well, maybe not for you, Luigi. <laughs> you know, it it gets better. Yeah, no, I wasn't saying it, it changes for the worst. It definitely changes, though. You can't deny that. No, it changes, but it's, you know. So yeah, he sent me uh he sent me some photos yesterday. I forgot to forgot to tell you guys. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Being a father is, is definitely something uh something special. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say that. You know. It's nice seeing like a, a daughter or a son of yours like growing up, doing shit that you do, saying things that you say. Yeah. You know. It's definitely uh it's definitely awesome. But congrats to Dre on that one, man. Yeah, congrats, dude. If you listen to our podcast, motherfucker, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you guys doing? You guys just chilling out there? Yeah, I'm just out here um, just enjoying the views. Nice. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. It's a sights. beautiful day. Yeah, I'm going to be gone. Yeah. I'm gonna be How's gone. the weather out there? Is it shitty? Because, like... Here oh, it's fucking no! It's beautiful, dude. Yeah. Really, it's, it's kind of cloudy. It's coming over here. Yeah, it's gonna be beautiful next week. Yeah, Luigi, I'm out <laughs> next week, bro, and I'm not gonna see you for like uh like seven days, homie. Oh yeah, you're going away, right? You're going to Montauk. Yeah, Monday to Monday. Nice. Yeah. So. Me and Bray are gonna come. Yeah, you should. <clears throat> Talk right into it. Yeah, it's a good time. It's a great time. Oh my. Oh. All right, Luigi. You guys are miss. You guys are missing out. I'm sure we are. I'm uh, I'm hanging up on you because you're draining my battery. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Luigi, great talking to you, man. Be safe. I'll see you soon, kid. Have fun. Send pics. I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace, Big, homie. Big kiss. Bye. Yeah, dude. I had a full battery. This shit's at half now from that. Damn, phone call. damn. Dude. Sucking the life out of that thing. This guy, Luigi, a drain, bro. Yeah. What, what, else? <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> what else is he good for besides draining your life? <laughs> Well, that's cool, though, man. I'm happy for Dre. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I think Luigi, like, uh, took what I said wrong. I mean, being a father, it changes your life. Sometimes it changes it for the better. Sometimes it changes it for the worse. But your life is different when you have a child. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Definitely. You know, you no longer live for yourself. Everything's about the child. You kind of have to be, uh, you can't be selfish anymore. Well, that's the way it should be. It has to be that way. Not everybody Yeah, not everyone's that way. No, no. So... (laughs) But that's good. Uh, it was a boy or a girl? Did we know? Girl. Girl. Nice, man. Yeah. It looks just like Dre. No. Really? You yeah. got a picture? Yeah, yeah. I got a picture. Hold that's on. awesome. Yeah, he's going to be a good father, man. Definitely. Oh, yeah. I've always said, man, uh, uh, being a father, the, the title is something that that's uh, that's earned. It's not just given to you. There's oh, two wow. of them. So you scroll left or right. There's, uh, there's two of them. Oh, that's a dick pic. Oh, <laughs> there's a baby. Oh, yeah. She's a cutie, man. She's a cutie. Good for him. Do you know what they named her? Ah. Uh, I forgot. I, for her. I want to say like Aislinn a- Rain or something like that. I forgot the first name. Yeah, it's like congratulations on oh, both. Yeah. You know, like of course his uh, his girl and yeah, Casey and the baby. The baby's yeah. coming into his life with two good parents, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's awesome. You know, good for her. Good for them. Yeah, and Dre's Dre's the kind of person. Everything he does, he does 100. percent So yeah. he'll, be, he'll be a great father. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, taking and on I get that. To be, I get to be an uncle again too, which is cool. Awesome, Uncle D. Uncle, that's what, that's Uncle what Caleb, used to, Uncle Caleb, Uncle Caleb used to say that. Uncle D, Uncle D. <laughs> that's awesome. Talking about uncles and shit. I'm going to shout out my nephew, Liam, and his little fucking piece of shit homeboys. <laughs> 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 they all listen to the podcast, so hopefully they're enjoying this shit. <laughs> what up, Liam? Yeah, Liam. Thanks for listening. Yeah, for sure. I went I went to his house yesterday to get my camper because I'm going away on Monday, and he tells me him and his, uh, well, not him, but his friend listens. So it's like dope, you know. Maybe I'll pick up some good life lessons here on the podcast. <laughs> a couple or, bad or ones. ones. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Uncle Nick's a savage. Yeah, yeah. for real. <laughs> what is wrong with him and his fucked up friends? Yeah. <laughs> What's right about him, though? That's true. I mean, we're doing something right. Wait, did you give him a shirt? Yeah. Yeah, he was like so pumped about it, right? Yeah, all his friends thought it was dope. They were like, they all ride those SE bikes and they make clips and shit. 
So he had a couple of clips out with like the Jits and Tits shirt. He's doing like wheelies and knee knockers and shit. That's you know? awesome. Yeah. Yeah, those kids could wheelie those bikes for like eternity. Well, they're made to wheelie. No, they're not. No? Nope. No, I thought they were. No. What it, What makes it so easy for those kids to just crank them up and run? The, practice. The fact that the tire's that big? No, practice, dude. Really? Yeah, if I gave you that bike, you, you would, it would be extremely hard for you to pull that bike up. Really? really? Yeah. Because we were we were riding, you were like, do a wheelie, do a wheelie, and the kid threw it up like in like two seconds. Yeah, yo, I've watched those kids develop, my son and my nephew, um, from day one to now. Like, my son doesn't ride anymore, but Liam. What's the bike that's like made so they wheelie easy? I don't know. I thought it was those. No, so the SE bikes that you see the kids wheeling on, believe it or not. It's like um, a BMX bike with big tires. Yeah, so Robin Big, yeah. when that show was out. Yep, made it for Big. Yeah, and that's all it was. And the kids just thought it was a dope bike, so they're like, they start uh, wheeling on it, and it just took off. But the bike is extremely hard to pull up. Like, really? I jumped on the bike and thought it would be easy, man, and it's hard as fuck. Really? Yeah, but my nephew's nasty, man. Like, he'll do a wheelie, jump on the pegs, and then jump up back onto the pedals backwards. His toes are pointing the back wheel. He'll jump back That's to the crazy. pegs. Yeah, all while doing a wheelie. Like, the bike never touches the ground. Some of these kids are pretty boss, you know? It's insane. Yeah. But, yeah, they're definitely not built for wheeling. It's not like they I designed. They it's not like they designed the bike to pull up easy or not. It's pretty cool, though. Any answers? It says a bike with the shorter chain stay will wheelie easier because the center of gravity is closer to the rear axle. But I was asking if... The SE bikes are easier to wheelie, and it doesn't say anything about that. No, because they weren't made for that. Yeah. SE, I think, was a racing bike company. Like, Yeah. And uh, like you said, they made the bike big for, for big. Big. Yeah. So. Those bikes are cool, and the kids love them. Like, every kid, like, that's, like, definitely the cool bike to have when you're a kid. Like, now, you see, every, yeah. yeah, like, all of them have that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, even the kids that don't wheelie, like, for a little while, like, I was using their bikes when we moved here. Because uh, we didn't have, like, bikes. So, like, Lisa and I were riding around their SE bikes. Mad comfortable. Are they? Yeah, they're fun to ride. The tires are, like, 29 inches, dude. Yeah. They're fucking huge, you know? It was funny, though. Like, I'd be riding through Patch Hog, and, like, the kids that ride are like, yo, pull it up, pull it up. I'm like, oh, I can't, man. <laughs> I was in a ride out in the city, dude. I wiped out, busted my knee. I'm still still banged up, you know? It was so <laughs> funny. Every time, man, they yell at Lisa, yo, knee knocker, do a knee knocker. Lisa's like, oh, I can't. What's a knee My knocker? My knees are knocked. Yeah. No, a knee knocker is like when you um, you basically put your knee on the seat and you do a can-can. Like you take like your right knee, put it on the seat, your left leg comes over the middle crotch bar and goes to the other side of the bike. and you. It's kind of like how Taylor rides her fucking... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but she's sitting down though. These yeah. dudes pull the wheelie up, go to the peg, knee on the seat, leg across the crotch bar, they bring it back and they go back onto the pegs all while wheeling. Like the bike never touches the ground. So... That's crazy. Yeah. Sometimes I yell at the kids in like the street. I'd be like, yo, knee knocker. Like, I can't do that. I'm like, fucking potato. <laughs> Worm. <laughs> <laughs> Start calling them worms and shit. What was that? It's like you're a loser. Like, you're oh. you're whack. Call them a worm. Call them a potato. <laughs> you know? Is that derogatory only to the bike world? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. They all say that to each other. Worm. Potato. So, all of a sudden, here's fucking a grown man riding an electric bike. Yo, pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I can't. Fucking worm. I fucking fly away on my e-bike and shit. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. E-bikes are fucking awesome. Yeah, man. Fucking life changer. I'm telling you, man, I bought my camper. I think my best purchase so far is the e-bikes. Definitely. Like, the camper's dope. You guys saw it yesterday. It's pretty yeah. dope, right? I think Parents? me and Bree are going to pull the trigger next year. On a camper? Yeah. Something like that size or bigger? No, like that size. It's perfect. Yeah. It's fucking perfect, dude. And backing that thing in is so easy. It's easy because it's long. No, it's short. So I don't have to do much movement with the steering wheel. Oh, yeah. Something longer, you got to like, <clears throat> you got to cut the wheel pretty hard. Well, I feel like I thought shorter trailers are harder. Because little <clears throat> movements make the trailer move more. Where if it's a longer trailer, more movement on the steering wheel creates mm -hmm. a small movement. But when you take gotcha. that when you take that thing onto the outer beach though, like you're not going to be moved. Well, I should shouldn't say that. When you take it to the outer beach, you don't want to cut the wheel so much because you're going to dig in. You're going to dig in. Right. So with a slight movement of the steering gotcha. wheel, Makes that trailer is going to move so much more. So backing that thing up into into sand is going to be dope. Yeah, because like when I had like my my other boat, the 14 foot uh, little John boat, when I had, was back in that, like, dude, that shit was hard to back in because of the fucking trailer was so short yeah but and then do we able to see the back of it too that's the other thing if, if the trailer that you're you're towing is smaller sometimes you can't see the end of the trailer so as um, you're cutting it you can't really get a feel for how that trail is moving no you know what it was i used to have to drop my tailgate so i could see oh yeah so it was probably small then yeah 
But uh, now my new boat, the trailer is like a little bit longer. It's a, it's, I mean, it's a seventeen foot, but it's a bigger, it's a way bigger trailer. It's like almost twice the size. Yeah. And uh, it's so much fucking easier. That's awesome. Like insanely easier. But I love driving driving trailers. It's like fun, you know. It's like challenging, like you know. Got you know. I d- yo, listen, Nick, I Nick knows. I do. I love backing up a trailer. I don't know why. I think it's a challenge. Yo, yeah. Nick, Nick knows. It sounds like a segment. You, should hit <laughs> <up>. <laughs> you, just some, you just drop some wisdom. The Nick knows segment. Yo, that'd be so funny. <laughs> drop some knowledge on these young guns. That's so funny, man. Nah, I love driving trailer. I used to drive it when I did landscaping. Yeah. That was fucking great. Yeah. Because everyone's like, oh, you can't, you can't back in there. I'm like, watch. Yeah. Watch. When I got my CDL, bro, the driving aspect of it, like the uh, maneuvers... Dude, I had a I had a fucking parallel park, a okay. trailer and truck that was like fifty five feet long. Well, that's a lot. In a in a box that was only seventy feet. Wow. Yeah, and I had to do it lefty and righty. Damn. Yeah. Like, when am I ever gonna have to parallel I know. park? I, I thought it's for the city guys when you go onto a one way road. Ah. You got to be able to parallel park left and right. That's tough because you have to go like opposite. Yeah. It's so weird. Yeah. I mean, anything that you do th- on the opposite side, it's weird. So yeah. that includes driving too. You know. Definitely. You, like if, you if ever try to, like, cut your hair, like, clean your neck up with, like, a mirror and a razor? It's so yeah, weird. Yeah, that's so hard. But his brother, Connor, cuts Connor it. cuts his own hair. I know. That's that's some talent he right there. He puts, like, sick fades. Like, it's so it's opposite. Like, it's tough. You ever drive a car with a steering wheel on the opposite side? No. no that's I that European shit. Oh, you have D-Rock? Yeah. It's crazy when you it's see so them. Crazy. It's crazy when you see them on the road. You're like, damn. Yeah. You know those, like, little, uh, like, Mi- fucking... Mini Coopers? No, like, it's like that, like, the car that's in, like, fucking Japan and shit. It's like those, like, little, like, trucks. With yeah, the yeah, the Suzuki's. The little, yeah, those little, like, white trucks. Yeah. Oh, they have Subarus that used to have, like, a like Baja or whatever. It was, like, a small SUV. Okay. My little buddy, pickup. back in the day, used to it's have a Skyline. It's literally Ooh, that's that's sick. Japanese uh, Nissan Skyline, dude. Those were the shit back in the yeah, day, bro. I, got, I drove it not far, like, just, like, down the block and shit, but on, on the right-hand side. It's, it's, so it's weird. fucking weird. Yeah. It's weird sitting in the passenger side on the on the left. On the driver's side. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, this is fucked up. So yeah. weird. Yeah, it's weird. I used feeling. to, because like at Woodside when I worked there, they, like we would drive that around the around the uh, nursery, and I'd always like get in. I'm like, fuck, I'm in the fucking passenger seat. No I'd way. Have to get out. Are you uh, serious, dude? Uh, <laughs> that's so what fun. about mailmen, you know? Yeah, yeah. that's true, They'd too. They'd fucking drive that thing all the Why time. Why is that? I never the, got the that. The mailbox. Because the mailbox the is on is, uh, is going to be on the right-hand so side. Oh. It's always on the right 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 yeah. hand of the road. Yeah. Damn. That's not damn, and you I know what Nick knew. You know, know what someone <laughs> said? You know what someone told me too? He was like, "Yo, you know what? You know what kind of cars those are?" And I was like, "What? They're all Ford Explorers." That's the like, mail trucks? That's what's under the mail truck. It's a Ford Explorer and they just changed the body out. Wow. Yeah. Huh. I thought that was interesting. That is interesting. I can fuck with that. I never knew that. And it's pretty crazy. They put a special, like, chip in, like, the cop cars to make them go faster and, like, run longer. I'm like, why don't we give this to all of us, motherfuckers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of guys that are into cars, they always talk about the chip. You know, oh, yeah, I'm going to put a different chip in or I'm going to program it. Yeah. I guess to get more horsepower. Oh, they, like, they tune it or whatever. Yeah, yeah. you can tune it. Yeah, that's what my friend said to me because <clears throat> my truck is restricted at, like, 96. Like, the gas just cuts off to the engine. At 96 miles an hour? At 90, because we were, I was driving to, um, when I went to Salem back in October, and I was on this wide open road, like, super clear, super straight, paved perfect. I'm like, oh, let's see how fast we could go. And I got up to 96, and it cut me off. I'm like, fuck, dude, I thought I was going to go, like, 130 right now. That's what I would have thought. Because my truck wasn't even shaking. So I looked it up, and actually, I asked, I didn't even look it up. I asked my friend, I'm like, yeah, it's bullshit. It governed out at, like, uh, 96. And he's like, you know why? I'm like, no. He's like, because the tires aren't rated for, like, the weight for you to be going that fast on it. Like, you could have a blowout, and if you have a blowout over 100 miles per hour, like, you're getting oh, fucked up. You're so fucked. You know, you might just roll. So he told me that, and he's like, yeah, you could tune that out, though. And I'm like, yeah, do I really want to? T- <laughs> like, how often am I going to go that fast, number one? And number two, do I really want to tune that out and, like, have a blowout at, like, exactly. 120? Like, I feel like that's just a horrible idea. That's one thing I was never into is, like, cars and shit. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not big, I'm not I'm not big on cars. I don't no. give a fuck about Anything as long I as it's reliable, it starts. yeah, yeah exactly. reliable, yeah, getting you there. And like, I mean, AC, you want like your windows to work, it yeah. sucks. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I definitely enjoy my Wrangler, I'll probably keep a Wrangler forever. I'll have one Monday, there you go. Oh, really? Well, oh, no. yeah, well, Bree's getting one, oh. so basically, yo, I'll te- have one. <laughs> yo, yo, and then Rem, tell him what Bree's birthday is in August, tell him what you're getting her for her birthday, I'm getting her a nice fishing pole rack for the front of it. Oh, it's, <laughs> yo, it's about to get this really, guy's getting himself a fucking he, yeah, I was about to say he is getting a Jeep. Oh, it's look who's coming, it's about the to street. get, it's about to get r- number one dad's coming in. Yo, I'm, nah, look at this guy. I'm convinced that that anyway. hat, that hat, he's like Joe Dirt, you know, the wigs like fused to his head. I'm pretty sure that hat's like glued to this guy's head. This guy's a. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's a maniac. That's the longest dude. yawn I've ever seen. He's still yawning. 
That's a six minute yawn. Dude, where uh, where are his jean shorts at? Yo, so dude, those, were, those were ridiculous, dude. Yo, he's like, he's there. He sees us. Let's see what he said. Let's see if he gives us. I'm one. not. I'm not getting I'm not up. Even looking at him. Yo, so Bree, Bree was like, we were talking about getting the jeep and stuff. It's and locked. It's <laughs> locked. <laughs> I'll let him in. Don't do it, Terrence. And her dad's like, yeah. He's like, you should get a jeep. He's like, then Brandon can take it fishing on the beach. I'm like, ah, oh, my dude. Boy, he, he loves you, bro. You're in. He knows. He knows. Yo, T, just lock that back up. Oh, uh, never, yeah. f- never fails. This place Terrence opens. told him to do it. That's why. Yeah, that's true. Terrence Speaking of Terry's over here. <laughs> that well, was so he's, funny. he's so excited to be in here right that now. That was so funny. He called him Weekend at Bernie's. That was a good movie. It was Great. a good movie. Fucking classic. Great. Yeah, and then they had that dance move, the Bernie's. Like, do the Bernie, and everyone's like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a fucking classic, dude. Holy shit. Did uh, anybody watch the fights last night? No, Rick, we had no. Rick put him on late. Which we talking, talking, talking about talking that boxing, boxing or, or the UFC? UFC? Both, both. Yeah. We had the, we had the UFC on in the background. We weren't paying much of attention to it. We were we were killing it on uh, Kava toss over here. Oh. Yeah, I got six straight. No, you didn't. I, I swear, swear to God. God. But it was kind of cheating because Nick was like, "Stay right where you're at," and he was getting me the ring every that's time. That's that's how we do it. That's oh, how we okay. do it. So yeah. you can keep the flaw. That's what I told you. Dude, I don't want you to. Me and yeah. you got the six straight. Yeah, huh? I got six. Yeah. Yep. Damn, I got to step my game. Yo, up. it's wild though because I went six straight and then I couldn't hit it in like twenty tries. That's what happens. You go, you go, man, hot, and you go cold. And then yeah. I, dude, then I sat down for ten minutes, stood up, hit I've, it on the first. I've shot. only been cold. Uh, yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you see the game I sent in the chat last that night? That was all, that dude. That looked dude, like so actually, much fun. And that? you said with shakers. Yeah, with shakers. Yeah. How yeah. dope would that be? Well, that was funny because I was telling Sean about that game like last weekend and threw it in the chat. It was so yeah, funny. When I saw it, I'm like, oh fuck, this is exactly what we've been doing. Yeah, man. I didn't think of the shaker. That's a good idea. Yeah, dude, yeah. that looks like so much fun because it's like rapid it. fire. Yeah. Well, we played at that'd be dope. Yeah, bring yeah. it in here. That'd be fun. Bro, we could play that for hours. We played at uh, Yo, me and Nick Friday night. Parks. You must play for like three hours. Yeah, yeah. It's insane. It's yeah. insane how much better you guys got because I wasn't here. What Friday is when I took off. Uh, Thursday. Thursday. Thursday night I wasn't here, and yesterday, last night, Saturday night, I was playing with Nick, and I was like, damn, bro, like you were able to hit it so. We went, hit me, him, and Danny, we went to do, like, the one where you tried, first got 30, hit three. 33. Three, three tosses. He hit it on his first three. Danny was like, what the fuck? I'm not even playing. He's like, yeah, good game. Gave me a pound and sat down. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I hit my first two, but then I, my yeah, third one wasn't even close. Me and Nick put in some, some serious reps on Friday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, like, well, we had some epic games, though, dude. We had a game that we went to quadruple overtime. Yeah. Sick. Damn. Yeah. And this guy, Nick, the comeback kid, I got hot, bro. I, I got two right away, hit the third, and... Like, I hit two on my first goes. Yeah. Nick's like, damn, early game. I'm like, don't say that, bro, because every time you make that comeback, and sure as shit, this motherfucker comes back, sinks two on his last two out of three, sends it to OT. I go, nail it, he nails it. I mi- I nail it, he nails it. I nail it, he- dude, quadruple over time. Yeah. And this fucking that, bag took it. Took that, it. That, that one day, me and you played, I did pretty good. And yeah, then I don't know what talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for the people who are listening, it's uh, <laughs> I'm sure people have seen the game. If not, basically you have a pole coming off the wall with a with a ring on it. It's a string and a ring, and then on the wall itself there's a hook. So you have a you have a line on the ground. You have to stand behind the line and you let the the, the string swing down with the ring, trying to hook hook it on the wall. Yeah, it's like a ring toss. Not really. No, not it's a no, ring swing. The ring is not on a. On it's a like line. A, it's like yeah. a tiki <laughs> toss. I would say. Well, that's what it's called. That's what it's called tiki. Oh, word. Yeah, but you're not. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a tiki toss, but you're not. No, you're, it is a tiki toss. Yeah. It's not like a tiki toss. But you're not tossing it though. You're literally you're letting s- the you're ring just letting it drop. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys figure that out? Or you were just yeah, watching we Brian, or you were out. watching Brian do it? No, we figured it. Yeah, out. Brian's figured. like, I'm really good at this. But we also played that game in Parksville, dude. Yeah, Parksville. Yeah. So we kind of had like a basement. little. Yeah, we had a little background to it. Marcus had the right idea going to the side, but he was going way to the side. No, Marcus. It was so funny. His method is not it. I know, but he was getting it in the beginning the first night. Pure luck. I don't know. He I was like, you got to so. go to the side. So. He, he hasn't was replicated just, it at all. No, he he was just pure luck. That was pretty sick when he hit it on. You were like, yo, you're doing it wrong. And he hit it on like his third try. Everyone was like, oh my God. got the finesse down and you yep. see the, the proof is in the pudding. It is. Yeah, I'm going. I'm just pushing slightly left. I had two sixes and a five spot, bro. Yeah. I was yeah. hot on yeah. Friday night. I was, I only, my highest was five. I hit five twice. My highest was one. <laughs> <laughs> in a day. And then we had Billy, then we had Billy on it. Billy was addicted, dude. Yeah, but he couldn't get it going. He couldn't. His highest was like two or three. Dude, I had almost two, three no lookers, <laughs> ring out, like get on the hook and, and then jump just, off. Dude, jump that's off. brutal, right? That happened. That happened to me like three times worst. last night. Bro, I was I was trying to hit the no look all night, and the last time I hit it, and I fucking I heard it, and I start celebrating. And Nick, Nick, I see Nick's face, then it drops, and he's like, "Dude, it came out." It jumped right off the hook. It was so funny. 
It's I'm a great still upset about it. It's a great game, though. You yeah. know, like stupid games like that. It's addicting. It, well, I think it's, it's addicting really because satisfying. yeah, because like it's hard to hook. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But yeah, once you find the 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 correct drop and like the angle you need. So it's a good game. You should make a just and test one. I know. Just have like a nipple instead of like a hook. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nipple ring? You a gotta like a breast. There. There's a breast on the board. A yeah. Breast. <laughs> you drop it. Just a woman's bosom. A woman's bosom. bosom. <laughs> That's fucking great. What All right, boys. Let's let's wrap this shit up. Sounds good. Fucking uh catch us on Spotify, Pandora, Google Play. Everything. Yeah. YouTube. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Luigi, thanks for calling in, man. It was great Yo, to hear was, from you. That was you. nice. That was Been nice. A little while. <laughs> Send us the questions of the day. Uh, we got to stop. I don't know how many times we got to ask you motherfuckers. Uh-huh. Yeah, for real. Well, Send some goddamn questions. Yep. Snell hooked us up. So. Yeah, she did. Well, Actually. Yo, and thanks for listening. We're almost at a fucking thousand downloads. Yeah. yeah. Yep, that's awesome. We hit a thousand just for all the listeners out there. We're going to fucking all get tats. A thousand downloads, free questions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, add the questions. Add the questions. And also check us out on Instagram, yo. Check out our posts. We've been putting up uh, IGTV clips. Yeah. The podium. Yeah, we hit that thousand. By the way, like Remy just said, the boys got to go get the tats. Yeah, I, I already made I'm my all, I already got mine. So yeah, you know, I, I made my appointment. Yeah, yeah, we've been throwing up stickers everywhere. So if you see one of our stickers, send us a picture of it. Yeah, yo, if you if you see a sticker, send us a picture. Yo, somebody, if you somebody get a tattoo, else. Uh, if you get a tattoo, we'll throw your shirt for life. <laughs> <laughs> Free oil checks from Luigi. Yo, for real. All right, yo, thanks for listening. Peace. Peace. Ta-ta.